Hey guys, I'm Dubai Zelp here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Apple is expected to be releasing iOS 13.4 to everyone worldwide. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick recap of what to expect with 13.4 later today. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys the exact release time. So if you're expecting this software today, I'm going to share with you guys when you can head on over to settings general and software updates to update 13.4 but before we get to that i wanted to share some details and also give you some information that you may want to hold off on updating to 13.4 immediately and i'll get to some of the details into why there's certain devices that are not having the best battery life but we'll get to that in a few seconds first let's talk about some of the new features of course with the ipads we now have the mouse and cursor support as you can see here we can now use a mouse and a cursor and a ton of updates coming to iPad as well with shortcuts for the keyboard and so forth. On the iPhone, we expect a bunch of upgrades as well. Now, when you see the download later this afternoon, you'll see about four gigs. This is overriding the entire OS. This is not taking away four gigs from your device. So just keep that in mind. We're expecting features like iCloud folder sharing. It's now possible on 13.4. Finally, the feature is here. We see nine new Memoji stickers, which are available on all platforms, including iPad OS. We also see the new mail application with additional buttons and controls. It's a lot easier to reply and delete messages in the mail application. You also have the new car key feature, which is already being used across the world where you can share keys. You can unlock your vehicle, start it up. Depending if you have a CarPlay device or a CarPlay vehicle, you can use these features currently available right now. You can also share keys via iMessage as well. You can authorize users to use your car as well. And one of the features that I've yet to see the running the gold master copy for about a week now and i haven't seen the os recovery feature in action i can't get it to invoke on this device but if i do of course i'll bring a video to you guys now iphone 7 and iphone 7 plus users i want to talk to you guys because 13.4 just doesn't have the best battery life for you guys as of yet as of right now any other device any other ipad or iphone is okay to update but these devices are experiencing issues with battery performance on 13.4 so just keep that in mind iphone 7 and 7 plus users try to stay away i've been testing the battery for a little over 48 hours and it seems like the battery continues to be an issue with those devices in particular now i'll also have a youtube community poll which will be going up shortly so you guys can also vote and express your thoughts on how the software has been performing for you and in the next couple of days i'll have the follow-up video with more details of the battery and information so when can we expect ios 13.4 to hit everyone's device later today well if you go to the clocks application make sure you have the new york times set once this says 1 p.m later this afternoon today on march the 24th that is when you can head on over to settings general software updates and you'll see ios 13.4 populate again one o'clock from 1 to 2 p.m today new york time you should see the software release for you on your device so if you're looking to update and you don't want to hold off go ahead but again iphone 7 users i highly recommend staying away i'll have my follow-up video in the next two to three days to give you guys the follow-up on how everything is performing so far including battery performance and all the new features thank you for watching i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you real soon peace